Billy Luna would-be assassin of former President Donald Trump searched how far away was Oswald from President Kennedy before the Trump shooting. The FBI director, Christopher A. Ray disclosed to lawmakers that the Google search was perhaps an early indication that the gunman began to contemplate an assassination. The gunman who tried to kill former President Donald J. Trump searched online for details of President John F. Kennedy's assassination a week before the shooting, apparently typing into Google, how far away was Oswald from Kennedy, the director of the FBI told lawmakers on Wednesday. Please subscribe to the Billy Luna channel and like the video. Thank you. The July 6th online search recovered from a laptop tied to 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks is a reference to Lee Harvey Oswald, the shooter who killed President John F. Kennedy from a sniper's perch in Dallas on November 22nd, 1963. That is a search that is significant in terms of his state of mind. That is the same day that it appears he registered for the Trump rally scheduled for July 13th in Butler, Pennsylvania, Ray told the House Judiciary Committee. The FBI is investigating the shooting, which killed one rally goer and seriously injured two others as an act of domestic terrorism. Let me know what you all think in the comments about this whole situation. Crooks was killed by a Secret Service counter sniper. The investigation has thrust the Bureau into a political maelstrom months before the presidential election, with lawmakers and the public pressing for details about what may have motivated crooks in the most serious attempt to assassinate a president or presidential candidate since President Ronald Reagan was shot in 1981. The agency has built out a detailed timeline of Crook's movements and online activity, but the precise motive or why Trump, the Republican presidential nominee, was singled out remains elusive, Ray said. A lot of the usual repositories of information have not yielded anything notable in terms of motive or ideology, Ray said. The FBI's assessment is that Crook's acted alone. Ray noted that Crooks had grown interested in public officials besides Trump. Crooks also had photos on his phone of Democratic President Joe Biden and other prominent figures, and in the days before the shooting had appeared particularly consumed by Trump. Crooks is believed to have visited the rally site a week before the event, staying for about 20 minutes and then returned on the morning of July 13th, about two hours before the shooting. Ray said Crooks flew a drone about 200 yards from the rally for about 11 minutes using the device to live stream and watch footage and obtain what Ray said would have been a rear view mirror of the scene behind him. The use of the drone, which along with a controller, were recovered from Crooks' car. On the afternoon of the rally, Crooks attracted law enforcement scrutiny because of odd behavior around the edges of the event, including shouldering a backpack peering into the lens of a rangefinder toward the rooftops behind the stage where Donald Trump would stand within the hour. Using what Ray said was mechanical equipment on the ground and vertical piping, Crooks was able to hoist himself up onto the roof of a squat manufacturing building that was within 135 meters or 157 yards of the stage. Crooks fired eight shots from an AR-style rifle right before he was killed by counter snipers. The FBI thinks Crooks may have managed to avoid detection despite being armed because his weapon had a collapsible folding stock. Ray pledged to lawmakers that the FBI would leave no stone unturned in its investigation. Let me know what you all think in the comments about this whole situation. Billy Luna. Please subscribe to the Billy Luna channel and like the video. Thank you.